In this lecture, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of channel trading successes. They are based on double in a day trades and why I'm showing you double in a day trades is because double a day trades require very small stops and very large targets. And that's the objective of channel trading to provide you with the ability to trade small stops and large targets. Now, if you don't know about double in a day trading, essentially how it works is you risk 5% to make 100% of your account and uh, by topping up at various levels. So these are all successful double in a day trades, in other words, doubling the amount of the account that is risk. So let's look at the uh, first example, which is a classical channel trade, a bounce number one, bounce number two, bounce number three, and then the bounce number four was traded. It was a little bit of a late entry, but there was some confirmation required here for a support resistance line retest. But certainly here we have our channel trade to the fourth point. Unfortunately, we don't see the the previous one so this might be the four to five trade and not the three to four this is also a good example why not to trade against the trend because look at this one the entry over there and then the the price essentially went sideways on that particular leg of the channel trade but again it's one of those trades that allows you to trade with a very small stop and a very large target. So let's move on to the next example. This example is almost an example of what not to do, but it, it did turn out successfully. Uh, here we again have a, a, a typical channel. We've got a one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, and then four bounce. So the four to five bounce was traded here. Very successful, nice red candles all the way. The actual exit was outside of the channel, which made it a little bit of an aggressive trade but it did still show that that leg on the channel trade would have got you a lot of success our next example is more conventional we've got a one two three bounce channel and then at number four the predictable bounce area the entry was made and went all the way down it didn't quite reach the bottom of the channel but it also does show that you don't need to go to the bottom of the channel with a lot of trades. You can use the efficiency of channel trade entries to get a good result. And here's an exa opposite example of using channel trading to provide the entry, but going way beyond the expected target. And here we have it, a one, two, three bounce, four bounce, and, and the four to five bounce was traded. This double in a day trade went all the way up there to double the account. So the entry was, in this case was the main motivation for using channel trading, but it did break through and go a lot further. Okay, this is an example of a quite a large channel. Uh, you can see the one, two, three, four bounce and the bounce from four to five was traded. Again, because of the width of the channel, we only needed 100 pips to double the account. So we only had to go halfway to, through to, the, to achieve the 100 pips, but this could have given you over well, almost 200 pips on this particular trade. A more conventional channel trade with the trend, so we had a one, two, three bounce, then it came around and bounced at number four, so we traded number four to number five, which worked out perfectly, and the blue line here is the entry the three top ups followed after that and the target was at the red line at the top here. Again, a successful double in a day trade using channel trading. Almost a repetition of the previous trade, a one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, four. So we traded four to five, uh, which worked out quite good. But to get to the 100% level it had to travel a little bit more which it did and reach that particular level but if you were trading conventional channel trading you would have certainly got the four to five leg quite comfortably again a nice gently sloping channel we've got one bounce two bounces three bounce there's number four and the trade is to number five again a, a successful trade although the trend right to number five was not required to double the account in one trade Next example, again a channel trade, one, two, three, four bounces. Then it came and retested the area and the trade was taken to number 
five. So if you were trading conventional tr channel trading, you'd go one, two, three, four, five, and then up to six, which would be an against the trend trade. Another successful trade using the pound USD. So uh, we had a one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, four bounce, five bounce, and the five to six bounce would have been tradable quite comfortably to make your target. In this case, the channel trading was used mainly for the entry and as you can see, the target was extended quite considerably. And this is almost a perfect example of how you can get or catch 100% of the trade. Here's an almost perfect channel again by the pound. The pound, in fact, is one of the most channeling currencies that you can get. And here you've got a one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, four bounce. So the trade from four to five was traded. And as you can see, it we got in almost at the start of the trend and got out almost at the end of the trend, almost a perfect 100% channel trade. Another another great example on the pound yen using channel trading uh, a one bounce two bounce three bounce four to five trade again caught almost perfectly and exited almost perfectly i hope those examples have given you some ideas for channel trading they are a bit light in terms of the failed swing trades we, we don't really trade that in double in a day trading because it is not at the start of the trend but is a continuation of trend trade and is less efficient in double and day trading so very few ex or no examples on that particular method the challenge now is for you to create your own trading examples you can either do that by back trading or trading live using as many currencies as you like and using mainly i would suggest the daily and four hour charts you could also use the one hour chart at a push. So let's move on to the next lecture.